Hi, this is Derek Wilson with CDO Advisors. And in this video, I'm gonna use Major League Baseball historical data to show you how you can quickly take Excel formatted data, pull it into Power BI, and build visualizations that enable you to easily spot trends and do trend analysis, see outliers, and really do comparisons. This is really applicable to all businesses, Managers and executives are always looking for what's going on in their business, how are things trending, what's the historical compared to now, and this is how you can do that. So to start with, you can see this is my Excel data. I just have it formatted by year, the number of games, the number here is the number of wins per team. All of that's been pulled in. On my other sheet, I just have the league that each team is in and which division they're in. Now I've taken that information, I've already pulled it into Power BI, I just have an easy model here that gives me my divisions, the number of wins and losses, and this is just another base table, which gets me to here. So I pulled my data in and I built a summary sheet. On my summary tab, I wanted to know for every team, what was their win and loss percentage, which I have calculated uh, in DAX based on the number of games in the, in the season, as well as how many games each team won. And then I've got my overall win percentage and loss percentage for my time period, which you can see here is 1995 to 2019. Um, I've built a simple chart here that shows me what my win percentage is. The numbers swing looked like a really large swing, but if you look at the scale, it's really 49.6 to 50.0. So while the, the scale looks high, it's really not that many percentage points between them. And then I've added a trend line. So this is where the trend analysis comes in. I can see that over time, you know, 97, the win percentage was 49.6. 98, it went down to 49.96 to, to its low of 49.63. And the trend line is added over here by adding a dash, just a trend line on top of the information. So it's going to calculate that trend line based on all the data that I have. So if I was to click on Cincinnati, now the trend line is recalculated just for Cincinnati's win percentage of 48% wins, 51.96 loss. And you can see they've been on a downward trend, but in 2018 and 2019, a slight uptick. If I was to look at Houston, you can see it's not as steep of a decline, but still going down into their last seasons. And since 2013, uh, 2015, they were up, 2016 down, and then 2017, 18, 19. So that's how the trend line will, will recalculate. These graphs over here, you can see, I actually wanted to know what's my win percentage by year and division, just historically, who's been doing what. So if I click on the east, right, it'll highlight that, and it shows me all the teams that are in an eastern division. I've got the American League, National League. Here I can click on, if I click on American League, right, it's going to give me, these are all the American League teams win percentage by those, by division as well. Uh, it's showing me, you know, the comparison of their win percentage to everybody else. And then this graph down here will also change. So if I was to go back, turn it back to the way it was, if I go back to Cincinnati, you can see year by year, the average number of wins that a team had was 80.93. And in this particular year, 98, they had 76. While out here, we had 97 in 2013. So a really quick way to, to pull a lot of information out of that spreadsheet. The other thing I did is I built a drill through table. So I'm going to drill through to another tab that enables me to see, in this case, just what's going on with Cincinnati, the number of games played, wins, losses, win percentage. And then over here, you can see their individual trend by division. We know they're in the National League, so those curves are there, the win percentage by league, by division, but then this is all of Cincinnati's information, 48.04 win percentage over this time period, they had a 97 max win year, a 64 minimum win season, and 77.64. So I pulled this information out, you can find it over here if you go looking for it, but it's an easy way to spot what's, what's going on. And then finally, I built a trend with a forecast. So this is my first page, the summary page, but instead of showing a trend this time, I actually wanted to see what's the forecast. 
So my forecast is going to use all of that information. And again, if I click on Cincinnati, right, it's got a kind of a huge uh, span where it's saying mm -hmm. in 2019, they won 46.3. We think the first forecast is going to be 44% win with an upper bound of 54.2 and a lower bound of 33. So kind of a big swing. Um, but how that works, again, you've got this analytics tab. And instead of a trend line, I actually added a forecast. And I only want to forecast out three points. And in this case, my point is one year. So it's forecasting out what it thinks the win rate is going to be for the next three years at a 95% confidence interval. I can change that to 99% and hit apply. And it will recalculate. You can see it didn't really change the numbers that much. But this is really applicable if you have sales trends, ERP systems, CRM systems, call center stats. This is how you can take all of that rich data that you have and quickly pull it together to provide reporting and dashboards that enable not only yourself, but your executive team to see what's going on in your data. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, this is Derek Wilson with CDO Advisors.